Oh, all right. <laughs> I'll give you what you're asking for. Strap yourselves in, boys. You're in for one heck of a ride. Um, it's Latin. I don't read Latin. Neither does me, but here we here we find. How do you read Latin? See instruction, extras. Get up out of there. Begin. Oh, so when you go to it, it changes to English. Yep. Okay. Let's see why I don't nobody use Latin no more. That's English, but... Mm -hmm. Back is Reverto. <laughs> Frego. Let's continue. Ergo. Ludum Ergo. Novus. New game. Ergo. <laughs> Purgatory? Nah, it's pregnant. <laughs> Alright. We out here driving on the side of the road. We pull over. Boy, in that Grand National? Yep. 1980 South. Ooh, we over here flexing. Hit him with the flex. Flexing my Jesus on you. <laughs> we out here. Okay. My boy got that gold piece too, bro. Mm-hmm. Had to go to Jacob to get this. <laughs> it was 50 down. Mm -hmm. We had to go to TV Johnny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that man said TV Johnny. Mm -hmm. Had to sit through the whole Donda album to get to uh, meet with him. Oh, man. Hey, it's a deer with a cross on his head. That's a big deer, bro. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I was gonna say, what you know, That was a boy. You know, <laughs> you know how you got rid of him? He was like, hey, man, do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? My Lord and Savior he was Cthulhu. Like, nope. <laughs> yeah. That's some paper over there. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Press X to Jason. <laughs> That's not what it says. <laughs> uh, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions. You go turn right on 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road. It goes straight past the well. A couple things with that. I'm not turning six. Also, I was going to say. Um, that ain't my birthday. Uh, which one are we going left, right? So you up? ain't got no twin name Nate either. Not unless your name is Nate. Uh, no, nah. and I was born a whole year before you, sir. So <laughs> twins either. I mean, people think we're twins, and I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking that a whole life. It's weird, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, if they rock with a different color palette, but it look like a steak. I want a steak. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Oh, what is that noise that boy making? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, out by that. It's actually voice lines, but... Mm. I, can voice I lines ain't think I thought it <clears throat> The kids and I miss you more every day, Bob. Bob. Alright, first things first, let's change the name. What the is, twins is and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I don't know what that means. I think she's getting cabin fever. She probably go to those private Christian schools out in the woods. Yep. <laughs> you know, fundamentalists. Uh, the twins are having no problem. Oh, yeah. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. What the? I yeah. guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. 
But I think we might have coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. Hey man, speaking <laughs> of coyotes, man, I seen one yesterday when I was working. And oh, then, huh? I would have been done working. Oh, hey, hey but listen, I told I told my supervisor I was like, hey, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it's getting dark out here, and I got to uh, run a 600 foot drop. No, sir. There's coyotes lurking out here. These boys ain't gonna slide out the wood on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I want to see what a human tastes like. <laughs> what happens if that thing catches you? I will show you. Got another note. I caught some people. I'm gonna read like a robot. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. Sorry, they, told me they, yeah, <laughs> they told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. Bob. Whose name is Bob? Ain't it supposed to be like Robert? I just call him Robert. Hoskins. Whoop! Whoa! Oh lord! Dang! Oh, that boy. Uh, he ain't you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a, a gruesome death. But was in that, but he was. You gotta start over again. You might as well dancing on your entrails, but <laughs> dance the jig. The power of Christ. Young Jesus out here. He's you had it, you <laughs> What is he saying? Out here looking like the tick, but. Chaos Ray. Hey man, that's too much. Not for uh not for John. He out here. See that swag walk he got. Your name is John? Yeah man. John uh uh something Latin. Johnny Lupus Philosophidum. Let's, let's go with it. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. It's probably Latin. Yeah. I've sent the gravestone rubbing to some of, the, some of my peers. I can't read at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson. Darryl. I don't care about his position. Freaking Daryl. He worked hard for that position, man. What you mean? <laughs> Daryl Galloway. This is not important to the story. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off of it and the bark is spilling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she's found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Well, bump Kathy and her religious friends. What? Well, your daughter got a real job? Stop being yeah. haters. And she's six. How'd she manage to be six with a real job? No, that's one of the boys. Oh. That's Nate what and chaos? Nate and me. Yeah, me and Nate are about to turn six. Oh. Hey man, look man, we will save a lot of time. You just tell us where you at. Yeah. Oh, Putting these letters out. Uh, I'm gonna go to the right because going up is not working. Oh, there's a deer. Hey, what up, deer? Oh, okay. I tried to save you from that monster last time. Nah, I'm I was gonna say it's not gonna let you leave the screen. Nah, I stopped for a second. Like, I'm out.
Why when I walk my head goes left and right? Because everybody wants to emulate the John swag. <laughs> You know, oh I no, I'm out! Can't tell you what he said, but I know he said it. Wait, you could die from that? From the water? No. Oh. Nah, you can only die from uh, some stuff getting all up in your business. Oh, so that's why you compelled it, because if not, you know, the stuff would have got in your business. Yep. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off. I th thought he was going to say they lie about everything. Metal Hill Road. Oh, Snake Metal Hill Road. There's like that Martins are some liars. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust those guys. Don't trust those Martins. They tell you a whole bunch of stuff. The tree's just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when I arrived. When we arrived. Father Allred? Allred, but... This man is all red. Because they were red bottoms. Father already seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. And the headlights I saw an old shed off. Father already explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remains inside. Told you to be out there lying. Mm, he tragic. complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. The, the, lay the person, person in the bed. Okay. Squirt. Oh. Something creeping out the window, but who that peeping through my window? Yeah. Nobody know. Oh, we know now. You can save. That dangling. This music is very, like... Suspenseful, I guess? It's like a, a creepy rendition of Moonlight Sonata. Yeah. What up, dear? Oh, he going I was going deer. after that deer. I'm follow y'all. Oh, yeah, there's a Jumpy chicken. Mm-hmm. I wonder what he listening to with his AirPods right now. I do, too. Now, why is he out here with his AirPods? He's looking for, uh, looking for Amy. I guess he was like, man, I'm looking for Amy, but I'm putting this music on. Bruh, I'm looking for Nikki. <laughs> Trapped in the closet. Is that the street? Bruh. How'd you get back to the street? Because there's, it's not like a linear um, like path. See, I, I haven't been left at all. Well, I have been left a couple times, but not enough. Yeah, I left this car out that way. Yeah. Oh. That thing almost caught you. Yeah. John got a super naked speed. Can't catch him. Bro, come on. <laughs> trying to G. I mean, these hey, what up, fam? <laughs> trying to get in, you bro. Public, Public Luthor. Nope. So that don't say lecture. By Carl James Osborne. Osborne. Some about them Osbournes that you shouldn't trust. Can indicate historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the, <laughs> the beast, beast system. <laughs> That's not like a fighting game uh, mechanic. <laughs> New Bloody Let me War. show you how to unlock the beast system. Bloody <laughs> War 2022 finna come out and it's gonna have the beast system in it. <laughs> hey man, that's a Jesus Christ fighting game. Bro, I saw. I gotta find it, because I'm definitely gonna play it. It's got like a bunch of like religious deities in it. Yeah. And Jesus is one of them. Jesus Christ fighting game, man. Oh yeah. This can't be real. I think it's called Religion Fighter. Something you get like to that. throw hands. So I can be the Lord and Savior, bud. And, and save throw everybody hands. with these hands.
What do those rocks do? I just Jesus them and they gave me that one thing. Okay, I'm here again. Hmm. Let's go. Oh, we already went inside the house and that dude was outside waiting for you. Yeah, and I went up. And apparently that didn't do anything. Hmm. Where should I go? To the left, to the left. I mean, that tree uh, got some words with you. Alright, I was looking at my phone. Oh. You finna chop down that tree like that girl. Uh, where from here? Uh, uh have we seen the screen? Yeah, um, cause I can... I think we yeah, I can do the bones. I did it in my first, like, run where I died. Oh. What happened if you don't exercise the bones? Nothing. Oh. We saw that. You don't learn nothing? Mm-mm. Ain't never learned. So there's like a certain, uh, you gotta, I don't know the objective of the game, I guess. Hmm. I mean, basically you gotta trigger certain events and then get to the end of this. Is that a skull? Nah, it's just a rock. <laughs> the big house. Not uh -oh. chicken in it. The big house. It's got to be the Martin's house. It's the house of liars. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Jig. Swag. 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 Look at my dad. Dude, <laughs> carpet there, but eh. That got to be Pearson. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh that's here definitely the Martin's. The Martins greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin let us down. Stairs to the basement. <laughs> Explained that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm. Staring, in a, staring at us. Oops. It is hard to describe the look on our face. It was not the kind of a look a child should give you. All right. Let's go to the kitchen. I feel like the kitchen is straight up up north. Oh, well, never mind. That child do look a little evil. She look like a Satan. She does. Her smile is all crooked. Oh, we in the kitchen. Woo! Let's go make uh, some ghosts. Some ghosts. Too. Is that boy? Is that thing got a face on it? Is that a head? It's probably a jack o' lantern. Like okay. But it's like it got blood yes. coming out of my. But who drew that, boy? Nate? Nate, boy, what you got going on, man? Nate, artistic Jason. as heck, bro. He ain't talking to your twin, because that ain't good. Nah, bro. Nate been weird since day one, bro. <laughs> That's a Microsoft Paint type of ish. That's weird, because Nate don't even have a computer. Can I, Jesus what is that plant? a picture of up there? Oh, uh, that's Solar from Dark Souls. Oh. Oh. Hey, let's go watch some TV. I'm sure everybody loves that Amy is on. Nah, we, we don't we don't we don't like Amy right now. Bedroom. Wow, this is a weird oh, house. Ooh, look at yourself. Whoa, oh, there is a what 13 by dead. But some, but some behind you, but it's my thirteen. <laughs> that is a thirteen, isn't it? Or am I tripping? I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Hey, let's, let's Jesus that uh that cupboard. Usually, stuff that's the same color as the rest of the stuff in the room doesn't. Do you can't Jesus it. Um. Well, upstairs or downstairs? Let's go upstairs. I think downstairs that girl gonna be waiting on you. She's gonna be sitting in the corner smiling. We nah. still in the machines down there. Whoa, we got a indoor bike? Mm-hmm. That's that Peloton, bro. Martin's just balling. <laughs> Out of control. Woo. You remember that bike that Buford them had? Mm -hmm. In their house? <laughs> 
I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear the voices around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods and play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house Same. itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun. <laughs> Bro, you just drunk. Let's <laughs> what? Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like her stuff anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys there. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Bob didn't make it, did he? Hey, man. Speaking of car keys, but yeah, yeah, I got a... Y'all got like car keys, y'all got the key fob, what y'all got, man, what y'all got? I got, fob, I got car keys with a key fob. You broke like the fob. Mm -hmm. You break the fob, the key ain't gonna work. I ain't got I no a... key on mine, it's, it's just a straight fob, but you you can put it into the ignition, but it ain't like a key, it's like, it's weird, man, on the truck, man. But... I asked that question because, man, I just wonder if y'all be like me, man, when y'all get home, you know what I'm saying, y'all get ready to go in the house, y'all still be trying to push that button to unlock y'all front door, but... <laughs> no, mm -mm. ain't that a bitch yet. I be trying to push the button to unlock the front door, forget, but I ain't unlocking the truck, man. man That's the only thing here. you're unlocking. Home OS. I guess really? I was the only one who thought. I mean, my lights cut on when, like, my phone is within, I think, 50 feet of the house. It'll go ahead and cut on. <laughs> but that's about it. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. This shit Bruh, weird. That's creepy as hell, We spoke hell, briefly, man. although it was frustrating to talk to her. Or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in the other instance, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began to began to write again. I didn't shave my head off, probably. I'm sure his head got ate off. I don't know. What? Some kind of doll, I guess. Yeah, that might be a dog. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sits over this weird-looking doll for Amy's friend. Yep, it was a dog. I ask Anish. Anish? About yep. it the next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Wow, racism. A little bit. A little touch of racism. Maybe ignorant. Yeah, I'll say that. Ignorance. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would oh, rather have a phone Packers. instead. She wanted a new iPhone. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Obviously, she got infected at the clinic, and now she's just a demon. Whoa, these toys. With no heads on them. <clears throat> Uh, is this a tape uh, recorder? Uh, what's that? Simon says? Yeah, Simon, an etch a sketch. Uh, what's this? The viewfinder? One of the little car things that you pull with the. It, no, oh, yeah. yeah. Like it's a phone, too, at the same time or something like that? I think that's what this yeah. is. I, I, I think yeah, that's what that is. No, that's one of them car phone things. It's, the other thing is just, it got like oh, a smiley lawnmower. face on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little lawnmower type joint, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, Bose uh, stereo system. Because those kids are expensive. But is that uh? So... This is a map. The of world Pen map. This is a map of Pangea. <laughs> now, what? Now, serious? We go. Hey, what about that door at the far left? What's in there? Probably the body to the family. I don't know. It's a body. Oh, you can't get in. Nah. Must be a closet. Alright, where's the downstairs? In the kitchen. Oh. 
Oh, let's go down there. Boo! She's gonna pop out. Hey. There's blood over there. I see that. You can't get over that. Oh, there's a washer and a dryer. And that doll is down here now for some reason. Yeah. yeah, that doll is chasing you. Even I uh, left it upstairs, which is weird. But well, you know, whatever. It's Satan in the house. Got, you got some drip going on over there in the corner too, but I need some maintenance. You need to get that fixed. Nah, this is what uh, one of the boys. That was Nate. He peed on the floor upstairs in the kitchen, and he's just dripping down. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, but how much pee that boy got? But I don't know huge puddles. <laughs> uh, but Nate got about drip, three bro. gallons worth of water. Came through dripping, drip, drip. <laughs> and they need to uh, chill out, chat by on the drinks. Yeah, we're not letting you drink after two o'clock. Whoa, she murdered everybody. There's a letter over there to your oh, far left. There it is. Looks like Satanism. I murdered everybody. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the Be proceedings a cult. Of right for long. Mrs. Martin, that liar, was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Ard asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back upstairs into the kitchen. <clears throat> Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! The whole time. <laughs> Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything right. down in the basement. So I went to go check on things. I found Father Ard lying on his back, unconscious. With his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Told you Amy murdered that man. She murdered him. I wonder if she did the, like, the little thing that chased you. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is not supposed to be happening. Are oh, you finna die? She is here. She is here. Who is she? Are you seizing up, but Amy says she wants your soul. But what if I want it? Bro, she right there. Oh my god. She's gonna kill you. Oh. Nah, oh, whipping it. Whipping it across that there. Oh, you gotta find out which one is her. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's time to get up out of there now. She sounds like an alien. Hey, it's a face over there on the scene. How are you, you finding it so fast? I'm just pressing whatever direction. I'm just gonna push all four directions. Get out of here. Ultra Jesus instinct out here. Mm. I'm coming. Oh. Sambo's coming at you, man. I heard a door open upstairs. Bro, you lying. Oh, I can hear him now. I can hear him talking. Yeah, that boy is uh, giving out directions, buddy. Dropping a dime on, uh... Either that or trying to lure you in so you can get murked. Yeah, that too. You gotta be she careful out there. That door opened up. There's only one door that was closed upstairs. Hey, was there a door in here? Mm-mm. Okay. Oh, no, upstairs. Go up one. It was, um, uh, upstairs, I believe. Yep, there it is. Yep. Hey, man, have you ever tried the Daigo Perry? Yes. That is rough. Did not pull it oh, off. Yeah, that is. I don't know how yeah, you. Yeah, I'm out, y'all. I holler. Y'all can have that. Oh, uh, you don't want to read that letter? Yeah, but she she got the house. That's what she wanted, apparently. Oh, you can have a house. Karen. Huh? Tired of you complaining. Oh, I'm sorry. The church Just give her what she wants. To tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear from me first. A year ago, I was involved with the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior, <coughs> father, with 
I guess contract it, uh, redact it. Yeah, I'll when just I confronted redact her, it. She managed to cut the power to the house, and her own parents with their own. What are we playing, Mad Libs now? I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her if I don't come back. Know that I love you, and I'm sorry, John. Not J O N what? John. Wait, I thought you were John. I am John. Oh, so you left and came back. Mm. I was gonna say that's a face on it. Whoa. All right. Spinning cross. Oh, my she's there. God. What happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? Absolutely not. I have to finish what I started. Just avoided that question. <laughs> he told it. Do you think my face is pretty? Absolutely not. <laughs> he could have just said that. He was like, hey man, I gotta finish this. Hey, somebody coming after you. He got the John Jig. Oh, he don't get Jesus. What the? Let's see that face. That bag off your head. Yeah. Yeah, all I saw was red. I'm definitely not going to say your face is pretty. Oh. Woo! That's all about the cans. Woo, boy. Coming through the uh, swift, boy. <laughs> she is trying to get you murdered. Time to avoid. It's my uh, just me playing Smash. Just got me uh, got my parry game up. Oh yeah, <laughs> knowing which way she's gonna come from. I play Samus. Yeah, my uh, it's a pretty long boss fight. My twelve year old, he uh. Like, I usually go pretty easy on them when I put. Alright. What the? But they put the hole. Oh, she stumped you in! Dang <laughs> but you been mortished, boy. <laughs> she stumped you in pretty quick. Oh, well. Okay. All I heard was my 12 year old, and then. Oh, I'm on my throat. Oh, I see her pattern now. Damn, she stumped you in again! Dang, bro. Is that what she did to follow all red bottoms? <laughs> this hand coming out of her face, though, is like trippy. Mm hmm. Bruh. <laughs> Boy. Bruh, she didn't stump you in! <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God, she is not playing with you, babe. <laughs> Man, come on. I gotta finish what I started, but You couldn't finish out there, but <laughs> You got finished a couple of times. So do you have to stay in the star path, or is she just... Oh, if I'm in it, she'll just come get me. Okay, I see. Oh, I don't have to stay in that star path. I just gotta stay in that room. I can't leave the room, but other than that... Oh, yeah. I can't. I can't get her while she's flashing either. I gotta wait till she stops. But this damn hand coming out her face. Why is she coming after you now? <laughs> Does that thing kill you? Oh, the circle. If you yeah, you get inside that circle. That's the automatic. They raging demon on you real quick. <laughs> That's basically what you do. Yeah, one thousand deaths. So she moves along the star, but then the circle is what. Oh boy, you were close. Okay, switching that one. Oh, oh, she's shooting that little black man.
Now the she hand. got a like a throne on top of her head. Not oh no, hand. it's the hand. The hand sticking up out of there. <laughs> I'm trying to yerk you off. I mean, uh. Ah, damn! <laughs> now nah, those are prayer hands. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what that is. Do you think my face is pretty? Nah, fam, you ain't got one. The sweet murder hands. <laughs> the next girl that asks me, "Do you think I'm pretty?" I'll be like, hey, "I came to finish this." Uh oh, I'm used to be like Mortis. Oh, dang! She is not letting you live. Excuse me while I go get some water. Mm -hmm. If you don't let me, you don't let me die. This is too hard. Hey man, your parents and you gonna have fighting priests. <laughs> I was not in that circle. You were too close. Uh, well, I cleft John was too close. You're too close, man. You're too close. Bruh. She didn't even come over there. That was on me. This is the first time that I died where she wasn't cheating. Hey man, I got a question for you. Yeah? Do you think she was built... Do you think Amy is built more like T4 or Eric? I think she's built more like a 15 year old, so I'm not going to comment on it. Oh, I thought she was like... <laughs> In her 20s. I honestly don't know, bro. If I get from the vibes I get from her in this game, she seems to be underage, at least for the the, the Americas, the United Americas. Because oh, what does this take place? Oh, it takes place in Connecticut. Connecticut. Out. I, <laughs> I was thinking she was like in her 20s. Oh, yeah. Hey, she just sat there and took that one. I just assumed she was a kid because those are always the ones that's getting. I was supposed to say, did she snatch you up? Yeah. Oh, she's dead. Yeah, it is always kids that's being possessed. Oh, she's jumping out the window. Kids Ooh. get possessed and we get murdered. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> they just murder us immediately. Like, I don't want no, no adult body. Oh, no adult. Only pedophilia in the afterworld. Grody. You gotta be. Uh -huh. I hope Chris Henson don't wind up there. Okay, he got a lot of hitters like looking for him. Oh, killer. Why are you writing backwards? It's hands. Get that shot at him. A gun with one bullet. One bullet. Can I get another bullet? You know, I didn't know that Freddy Krueger was a pedophile. Yeah, man, he's a kid to touch him. It's my sin. Wait, my gun is not in the reflection. Hmm. Just that 13. You got no gun. No, I do, do some like 13 now. Walk I see a 13. There's a lot more of it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on over there. It is not just Can't call it though. A... 
Hey, Mary, where you at, bitch? Mm. Hey, Mary, where you at, bitch? Now, this is an obvious path. Mm. Wait, how do you compel people with Christ again? Mm -mm. You can compel them with that cigarette they like again. <laughs> Smoke them. I ain't gonna do it. Why you gotta kill Amy? Uh, Amy, but I gotta put you out your misery. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta put you out your misery. I don't wanna. Dang! I'm pretty funny. You just murdered a 15 year old kid. I ain't sorry about hey, it. Bro. Hey, but it's a demon in there, but. Mm hmm. She for the street. Just leave? Yeah. <laughs> This man just leave. Oh, yeah. He just shoot her. I. Right. Well, I'm gonna stick around. I mean, no, nah, but still, I wouldn't expect you to just shoot her and leave. There was like no dialogue or nothing. The music just stopped. I got to see it through, Shit. my boy. Asked <laughs> to see it through, but what? <laughs> hey, let me get some of them hoes. <laughs> but it will. Where's my car. Where are you going? I just rolled bread with you. And here I was thinking, you were finna shoot me in the back of the head. I don't know. Are you going to jail? Murderer. <laughs> You're a murderer. Dang, but you killed that little girl. You're a murderer. Hey, man, all you gotta do is give the police officers some skittles. Mm mm. -mm. A New York man is in custody of after he confronted confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Water of Palmyra was pulled over on a Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poacher. The officer said War was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup afterwards. After Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confront, confessed to the authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin. A 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. Oh, she wasn't volunteering. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of a second story window in the house. She An officer who, who helped her recover the baby told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. That face, come, that hand coming out of it, War was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed in Rome confirmed that war was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. He disowned that boy. Oh, they put me back here. Oh, so you weren't supposed to murder her. Well, that, that was one of the endings. Isn't it one of five? Oh. So let's grab the gun and just walk off. See what happens then. Just leave? Leave with the blicky. With bullet. How many bullets was it, John? One. <laughs> Where? We're just not gonna kill her. We're gonna let her live this time. Shoot in the ankle. Demons, uh, they don't like to be not mobile. They're legal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're making scream at you. Scream. Can't do no more demon and what have you done to me? Say it time, I have you for a second, me. Offer the ability to dance. 
Oh, they're not gonna let you get in the car. Ooh! <laughs> Dang. I think murdered you. I missed. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, what? Cigarettes you get. Oh, yeah, it's a whole, no, it's one of those uh, canes that the blind people use. It makes more sense with that Stevie, Wal uh, Stevie Wonder Walk he got. Would you say his walk is very superstitious? No, that's bad. I'm not gonna say that. Editor, cut that from the street. <laughs> <laughs> Please cut it now. Cut the stream. There's one of five endings, right? There's five endings, right? Yeah. We got the one where I get arrested. Oh, it's bleeding. <laughs> you say, what you do? Oh. Like, hey, man. <laughs> God. man got pancaked. Yo! <laughs> I will say the word. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God is in my will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, or the evil that walketh in darkness. It's the trouble of the ending! Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and conquer me. Brian, but he ain't even tell me to bow my head or nothing, I ain't. That house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. So we got one in five. One faith endures. One faith endures. Police animal, okay. <laughs> Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal which some residents are calling a chupacabra were discovered on Snake Meadows Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Wow. Police say initially investigated. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorists who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about the. We want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here," said a Sterling police spokesman. "This is clearly not a deep deer or coyote." If it's a mountain lion or exotic pick that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal they had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, <laughs> the rickets. vitamin D deficiency yeah. that appears in animals and children who have been who have not received enough sunlight. Well, all right. Yeah. Hey, let's kill a deer. With that gun. <laughs> it will hurt. I gotta find one. I don't want to kill. Oops. You killed yourself? <laughs> I said that. that. <laughs> 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 I was not trying to do that. Oh, well. It was dead pop real quick, man. Exit. Quit. Instruction. There we go. I keep pressing uh, A to pick up the gun, but I don't have to. I just gotta walk over it. Bella, what do you want, child? So I'm guessing there's no good ending. Did you shoot the mirror? Yeah. Oh, that didn't do anything. 
Oh, the gun with one bullet is back. A gun with one bullet. <laughs> what shoot? He just shot the mirror. Yep. And then. Oh wow! And then the, and then the gun came. I got to see it through. I got to see it through. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. You just gonna keep getting them. Pull it. Mm -hmm. But yakking on that mirror. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! this boy they got banished to the shadow realm, boy! Bro, what is this? This thing finna kill you! Oh, oh the crash compares you, bitch! <laughs> That's the 13 that I was looking at. Yeah. That boy neck is the 13. I don't know what the rest of it is. What is that? Oh, you got a new letter. I'm about to fight Nosferatu. I'm in the catacomb. Dear Dr. McGlashon, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin Family Residence. I accept that what, ha what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I'm happy to report that. Since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy the peace of my mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my progress since the first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinal in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Huh. That was pretty cool. You still got that gun, though. Why not? A gun with one bullet. Yep. You just keep going back and getting it. Rance, my boy, John, you are crazy, boy. Nah, we seen it. We was our job. I was looking in with my drone. I'm gonna go this way. Whoop, whoop, pull over that. Too fast. That's what's playing right now. In my head. That's what's playing in John's headphones, too. Yeah. Hey, listen, old trick daddy. Yo, it's a great man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you killed him! <laughs> uh, <laughs> this hey, man is a murderer. <laughs> hey, man, he was, he was, he was there. What, what? Let's go inside his house. <laughs> I might as well leave. I don't mark enough people. Trying to shame me, kid. But I go back to the big uh, house and get a. It's gonna be another guy with one bullet. <laughs> Or all these one bullet guns coming through. This man finna get in his car again. <laughs> it's just probably Satan. <laughs> you're, you're the demon. You need the exorcism. Yeah, man. That's because I got that extra H in my name. I, I want to be J O N, John. <laughs> you're going to hell. Not with that extra H, I'm not. Oh, hey, you don't have an Android, you're going to hell! That's what that extra A stand for. I will send up my oh, it is that's my the same ending. What if you keep that dude alive? See what happens on that one. I shall not be afraid. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you just got murdered. <laughs> Father and son. I... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he just got <laughs> murdered. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for a young Michael without being present. Oh, that's the little thing that killed you. The little thing that be running around. Yeah, Michael. Yeah, Michael needs my help more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increases ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such critical time. There's another reason why I dare not to return Michael to his family, nor let him see him. The darkness inside of him afflicts his soul, but it also causes terrible strain on his body. So there may be no mistake in what I mean. I have a close photograph of the young Michael Dorn. One of the photograph is missing. Well. Look at this fucker. I'm going to try to find that deer. Alright. I got three and. Yeah, they. One three five no one. one. No one two and f uh one two and uh five. Mm -hmm. Do you need three and uh three and four? That's a wild game, that book. Yeah. <laughs> over there citing your stuff and then whoop and <laughs> man just murdered you. You know said it's the same end no it ain't <laughs> What the, the world? Shoot that squirrel. You just gonna shoot the squirrel? Yeah. What? <laughs> it just killed us. I knew that that one was the ending. Oh. I knew that that one wasn't the ending. I knew the mirror one wasn't the ending, but we didn't do the mirror one right. Which one we didn't do right? The mirror one, because we shouldn't have killed that guy. What guy? The black guy. Oh, the one that trying to murder. I'm going home. Oh my oh. God! What? <laughs> He's gonna get murdered again. John can't catch a break. Bro, that's good. Man, I just shot a dead squirrel in the offering, but is John the offering, man? Oh, John, but you don't want to be the offering, man. Wow, hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you are clearly an adult, and you are able to handle your own life. Well, you do go. not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, <clears throat> even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary! Gary. You're the man that offered me up? So what's the ending with the mirrors? Actually, that one will still be the same one with you guys. Michael's in the back of the car. And the last one we need to find a deer, actually. Which I don't know how to do that. I saw him just wandering through the woods. Where do deers live? I don't know. Like with them bones over there. I, I ain't never seen a deer do nothing myself running across the road. The tree, yeah. Hey, mine. Hey, mine. This bullet ain't meant for you, mine. <laughs> after, they after they disappear off into the woods, man, I don't know. <laughs> Just laughs. Why do I have Mr. X from uh, Streets of Rage? He does. <laughs> <laughs> But sauntering, but there's all that. Where do you find the deer? <clears throat> I don't know.
Man, where you gonna catch a deer that it ain't moving long enough for you to shoot it? There's a squirrel. I feel like the deer would be in a wide open area, but I guess the deer is just oh. like, there you go. Bow! But Jim is a sniper dead. out here, but y'all see this man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, John. Great shot. It just goes silent. But John, be shooting. Yeah, man, because the deed is done. I'm gonna peel off in my uh Miata. <laughs> Yep, that's what deers do to you right there. Bro, is that John? <laughs> Dang, John. What? <laughs> this dude just said square up, fam. Oh, hands out there, boy. Is this an adventure time universe? Yeah. Oh, and your body was unidentified? Can I do it? Damn. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning. Along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car, deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front window sh windshield. Ooh. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of the coyotes. Nope. Mm -mm. That was some deer. Vengeful deer. Police also, <laughs> yeah. Police also noted that parts of a clean white-tailed deer were found of a truck in the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Wait, we didn't carry anything back to the car. Demon deer out there, boy. Well, Apex. That's what if. That's what that uh, demon came from, boy. It came from Amy. I mean, uh, Amy got yeah, it came from that deer, boy. Living in the woods with them devilish deer. Also, I wasn't saying it was deer. There's a chapter two. Yeah. So I what is it. like the canonical ending? Um, the canonical ending is the one where you shoot Amy. And you go to jail. Yeah. Because I played... I think I did one playthrough of two. Is that for a cannon? So, uh, we, we Apexing? Oh, yeah. Uh, we Xbox Apex and are we PC Apex? Xbox. Since I can use my Xbox right. now, since I don't have to give up my room to COVID victim. Oh, you said you PC. You said you Xbox in it. I am. All right. I will be streaming yeah. that too, though. So if you can okay. put your your voice in the stream, that'd be nice. I will. Don't mind that at all. Yeah. Come in my house. What happens in the second one? Uh, more John. There's another priest. This is longer than this one, though. It's like a... I don't know. Like I said, it probably took us like an, uh, 30 minutes to get to the... to the actual ending of this one. And then, um... Yeah, I want to say the second one's probably like... 
an hour? Maybe a little over an hour. Okay. It was a demo for the third one, but it was only for like limited time. Oh, so they haven't really put it out. Nah, uh, he like he's gonna turn like all three games into like a full game. Oh, okay. Faith, the unholy trinity, a trilogy. Excuse me. There's a trailer for Start it, there. and it looks ridiculous. And it's also gonna be on Xbox, so I'll probably buy it on there. All right, let me go ahead and set up for Apex. All right, I gotta put my young one to bed because one of them already went to bed. All right. I gotta go punch on my shoulder. That man murdered you. You died to Michael. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. I shall see y'all on the Xbox.